In this video, we're going to be talking about leaders, so leaders for fishing, and this is going to be the basics. So we're just going to cover, you know, first, what is a leader? We've had this question coming a lot, you know, so what is a leader and then why is it used? And in, in what cases do we really need to, to use a leader line? And in which cases do we really not need a leader line? We're going to cover that in this video. So let's go ahead and just get started with what a leader is. So a leader is basically the, the line, you know, the, the length of line that is in between your lure, in this case, or a hook, and then the actual main line. So in this case, we have a, a leader line. This is about a, maybe a, a foot and a half of line. This is mono line that is in between our braid and our lure. And, and so leaders can be you know, as short as six inches or even less. It could be six feet or longer than that. So now let's talk about you know, when it's really important to use a leader. And so if, if you're using a spinning outfit, you know, we have a spinning rod here, and if you're using braid on spinning rod, which I highly recommend, you know, braid with spinning is a game changer. I, I, I was late to make the switch and I am now kicking myself for not switching to braid sooner. It can cast farther. You have better feel, better hook set potential. But so the bad thing about braid, although it is great for casting, it's great for retrieving lures, getting your good hook set, but it is bad for two reasons. Number one is that fish can see it. So I've tested out with catching pinfish on using straight to the hook, a 10 pound braid versus going a, a leader, a 20 pound mono leader to the same size hook with the same type of bait. The, the setup with the leader, even though it was, it was twice as strong, it was much thicker, but it was from a clear mono, it caught more pinfish per hour than going braid straight to hook. Yes, I did catch some on, on braid straight to hook, it just wasn't as many as the leader got. So if you're using braid, the use of leader is great for making sure that the fish have less of a chance of seeing the line and getting spooked off. And so number two is, is abrasion. For many years, I thought that braid had better abrasion resistance than mono. And so I wanted to be sure, and so I built a, a test assembly in which I would rub a, a line, I'll rub different lines against sandpaper and see how well it held up to it. And braid did terrible. Braid, that braid broke really fast. And the reason why I use sandpaper is it resembles a, a mouth of a lot of common fish uh, that, I, that I personally like to catch. Snook and bass, tarpon, you know, they have really sandpaper-like teeth. And what I realized from that test is that braid, if rubbed against a rough surface, will totally disintegrate extremely fast, which really surprised me. Conversely, monofilament did extremely well against sandpaper. So really the core premise on using leader, especially if you're using braid line, is that so you can beef up the section right next to the hook or the lure, right? This is gonna be where most of the abrasion happens. Also, this is where it is most important for the line to be as invisible as possible. So when you're deciding to, to tie up your next, uh, next line assembly, make sure that you're thinking about both the strength that you need to handle the business end, right? This business end right next to your bait, you need to beef up if you're gonna be targeting stronger fish or fish with, with sharper mouths. And then you can lighten up if you're not, right? If you're targeting smaller fish or fish that don't have uh, you know, sharp teeth or, or abrasion mouths or they don't do a lot of head shakes, you can go down on your leader. So now let's cover the, the times when, we, when you really don't need to have a, a leader. And so number one is if you are using mono or fluoro as your main line and you're using a strength that is, is strong enough in your reel to handle this business end, then you don't need a, a leader. For saltwater fishing, I recommend leaders in all cases, even if I'm using mono, I'm still gonna use a lighter, a lighter main line so that I can get better casting performance. You know, the thinner the line, the, the longer the cast will be almost indefinitely. Also, the, you know, the thinner the line is, that you're gonna have less uh, actual water resistance and wind resistance, which again, it will mean that you'll be able to feel everything that much better. And then I think at, at the bottom end, you can strengthen the line with the leader to handle this business section. But if you're using a braided main line, I highly recommend using a leader specifically for the abrasion factor, right? Because if you hook into that fish of a lifetime and it has a rough mouth and it, and it starts doing some head shakes, your, your odds of, of losing it are much higher if you don't have a mono, either a mono or a floor. I actually personally use mono now. I've done some tests and it's surprising how, how good mono is compared to fluoro, even though it is much less expensive. So I'll put a link down below for, for links to those line experience in case you're, you're curious to see those. I really just wanted to make sure that you understood you know, the, what a leader is, 
and then the overall purpose of it and, and then why you should use it and then when are the specific times when it's not quite as important to use leader lines in your assembly. So if you have any questions at all or if I if I missed something or I misspoke, you know, please do leave a comment down below. There's a comment section. Nothing gets taken out. I want this to be a, a conversation and not a lecture. Any and all feedback is welcome and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to see you again soon. Hey there, I'm Joe Simon. And I'm Luke Simon. And we are the Salt Strong Brothers. Real quick, two things we need your help. Number one, my brother Luke here has really low self-esteem. <laughs> And so it would mean the world to him and really boost his confidence if you would just subscribe to our channel. Not only will you make him feel better, which is awesome, but you will never miss out on one of our amazing new tips. All right, so number two, if you're not catching as many inshore saltwater fish per trip as you feel you deserve based on how much time and money you've put into fishing, then check out our Insider Fishing Club. It gives real-time trends that are actionable trends to make sure that you're maximizing your time in the feeding zones and minimizing your time in the dead zones. And even if you don't have time to fish as much as you want, you'll still save hundreds of dollars on our discounts alone. Click down below now or go to saltstrong.com to learn more. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today